Hi guys, my name is Nolene Tane and this platform we'll be using to simplify finance terms and make them more understandable for the masses and also help you think about money differently and find ways to use it better. Right, so welcome. For today, I'd like you to think about what does money mean to you, right? And think about what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word money. Do you even think about it or do you just spend it? You earn it and you spend it. In Economics 101, we are taught that money is a medium of exchange, a store of value and a unit of account. What a medium of exchange means is that you pay for things with it. Essentially, you exchange money for goods and services. And then a store of value means that if you don't exchange the money and you hold it in your account, bank account or in your wallet, you are maintaining its value. So you are deferring consumption of goods and services until a future date, right? And then a unit of account means that we measure the value of goods and services against one another. Cool. So we do very well with a medium of exchange. As human beings, we spend money. We spend money we don't have. We spend money in advance if we know we are going to get money. But what we'd actually really like to do as well is to use money as a store of value. But our money psychology doesn't allow that because of how it's set up, right? So now I'd like you to think about your money psychology and your money history. So think about the first time you received money. What did you do with it? If you can't remember the first time you received money, Think about your first money memory. So it might not necessarily be the first time you got the money, right? And did you use it? As in run to the local tuck shop and buy some sweets and chips and nice things. B, did you save it? Save it like for the week, for the month, for the year and then get something you really wanted. Or C, did you make a really bad investment? Like, did you give it to your parents as a loan and they never wanted to give it back? <laughs> Our parents used to do that. Um, but without knowing, then we were creating money habits. So now that you've thought about the first time you received money and what you did with it, think about all the time you receive money and what you do with it, right? And find in that the pattern that is created and this pattern would have then brought out your money habits what money habits do you have now how did you create them how would you like them to change what would you like them to look like so that's it for today think about these things drop me comments and let me know if there are topics you'd like me to explore and you'd like to know more about thank you for watching